Hello guys, welcome to Farm Smart with Victor or Farm Smart with V. Hello guys, so without wasting much of our time, I'm going to disclose the latest updates and improvements on our farm. Alright, as we head closely to the farm, so this is our food bed, as I said. Last time the water disinfectant, we are going to disinfect with water. So, guys, as you can see, our net is all done, and this is the latest improvement. As you can see, this is our drinkers. You can see how it went through. We have different types of drinkers. This is the people drinkers that has a lock from here. You can lock here, and open it. It's a bit tight, so you can't really adjust it. So guys, let us go with seven drinkers and don't forget these are Indian Bell drinkers, the automatic Indian Bell drinkers that we're going to be using. Okay, this is the norm, the second drinker that is coming directly. You can see where it is. I'm going to be disclosing how I did this in my next video. Alright, so guys, we have about one, two, three here. Four is here. Then it should be eight in total. I will make it in just two rows. You can see this is another one. So, as you can see, guys, this is another one that has lock. So, these two drinkers have different advantages. These two drinkers have different advantages. You can see this one. I can use this to control it as the lock because water is coming directly through this T. This T holder that like is coming directly to this control. Why this one that's here? I don't really need. The control there because this one also serves as the control. If I adjust it, you can see, guys. If I take it close to this place, if I take it close to this place, I can easily adjust it like this. You can see a little hole under this place, which means it's open. So when I move it to the other right side, you can see it's closed. It's open now, like this, guys. So once I move it to this place, you can see the mouth is taken away from that place. So it's locked like this so guys you can see the latest improvement on our drinkers we are doing it little by little don't forget i say we are doing it little by little and we are doing it very smart we are taking our time to do the finishing touches in this pen all right so as you can see how the drinkers went like this here we're going to put a lock here you can see we're going to put a lock at this place we're going to close this place so water can't come out from this outlet. Alright. So as you can see, we just use a rope to hold it to make sure it's straight, a bit straight. We are going to do some adjustments after now. Alright. So guys, you can come at you can you can you can see at the end here, we are going to put our 50 liters here. Where water is going to come from the overhead tank into the 50 liters. Then the pipe will have to go like this and come in here. I'll supply water. To these drinkers, all right. So as you can see, this is part of the latest improvement. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done with the penthouse, as you can see. Let's go outside while I show you something outside the pen. You can see the control from here. This is a control to shut or close water coming from the overhead tank. Okay, I can easily close it like this, it's closed, while like this, it's open. Alright, this like this, it's open. So like this now, it's closed. And the, what, the pipe came directly from the ground, straight down here to the overhead tank, guys. Alright, as you can see, we're almost done with everything. This is our overhead tank, as you can see. So this is the control. And this is our surface pumping machine I'm talking about. This is going to take water from this hand dug well, from this place, from this place now. This is where it's going to lock. we're going to lock it. Then the pipe will from here and go to this place. So guys, now to take water up to the overhead tanks, where it will distribute water down to the pen. Okay, guys. So this is the latest improvement on. Our farm. So, guys, 
I just I just I just wanted to update you to know the little improvement on how far we are going and we are doing it bit by bit. So guys, once we are done with the overhead tank now, you have access to water that will flow through these drinkers. Alright, and this by the next week, hopefully, we are going to be mounting or connecting our automatic bell drinkers, and I will show you guys how. I did that. All right, so this one I can easily. Okay, it seems okay. Let's move down to this one. It seems this one it's not really loose. Okay, so guys, you can see this is how it was mounted. It was I I, I used the screw. You can see I can easily lose this by taking off this. Um, it's like a okay. I'm trying to lose this. I will need a screwdriver to take this off before I can easily explain more about this. Okay, so let me take a little bit of time to see if I can take this off. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'm taking it off. Okay, this is almost done, guys. All right, we are done. So as you can see, this is the drinker. This is the hose. Okay, okay, you can see this is the hose that was pierced, and I pierced the hole here. I, I use the scissors to open this hole as you can see open it then using the mouth of this nipple drinker that's connected that will be connected to the Indian bell then I placed it in this place and guys there's a valve on here there's a valve here that will make water not to come out so this valve is very important without the valve Water, there will be water leakage and to wet the beddings in the penthouse. All right, so guys, I placed it in here, make sure it's not that loose despite the valve that is here. I placed it in this place, taking it inside like this, and it's not really loose, so I'll have access to put it in freely or a bit tight. All right, so guys, so now it's it's stiff or it's strong then i'll have to place this boat it's like a rubber boat is it like a rubber boat and you can easily bend it so guys i'll have to put it in here and use my screwdriver to drive it in the other way out and make sure it's a bit firm and you guys you can see the lock like i said you can see the lock like this it's open like this is closed you can see the hole under here this hole means it's locked so when I take it to the right, it means it's open because the hole comes down, it comes out from this place. You can see guys, you can see this is the nipple that we connected to the hose down to the automatic drinkers. Alright, so um, this is it. This is how we fix this. While this other one, this other one, it's like this. We use a T-valve on here and we can easily take it off you can see we can easily take this off you can see how it's done while this one i can easily take this one off as well you can see very easy to do this is just a t valve i use for this junction this joint where these pipes are going to come in then i use this tap this is like a control tap then i use the drinkers where the hose is connected to and i place it in here then I screw it in gradually and we use a silicon tape on here you can see it's a white silicon tape which is used to hold water from any leakage so I have to place it in here and take it in gradually gradually while it gets strong okay guys you can see 
how this is fixed. I did this myself to save cost. Yes, this is very simple, very, very simple as you can do it on your own. So guys, this is the latest improvement on the farm. We are going to be doing it bit, step by step, gradually, gradually till we are done. Hello guys, thank you for watching. Do well to like, subscribe and share and do have a wonderful day. Thank you.